Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. These Figma plugins are super powerful. Animations, artificial intelligence, everything is included with these plugins. First one's called Animate on Path. It allows you to animate any object on any path. It does this smoothly. Let's try this out. If I come here, there is a playground that they've already created for us. Making them animate on path is super simple. On any artboard, if you have a path, for example, let's create this path like this. Okay, And I have a ball here. Okay, let's just call it Bolly. And Bolly is going to follow this path here. So I'm going to select both of these elements, go to our resources panel on the top left like this and search for animate on path plugin. This will pop this up, this window where it allows you to add animation smoothness. So the greater the number, the smoother it will be. I'll set it to 15 for now and animation duration. So how about 10 seconds? Of course, I can edit it further and then just click on animate. As you can see, it creates one component for us, which is actually the animated component. You can copy this anywhere, but let's play this. Look at this. Look at how it moves smoothly along this path almost perfectly. And of course, you can make this line invisible, for example, like this, and it will seem to just follow a random path. Unfortunately, for now, you really cannot animate it further. You can't add bounciness or smoothness. But in the future, hopefully you will be able to do that. Another day, another AI plugin, but this time it's creating gradients for us. If we go to generative gradients, I click on open here. I just have to now run this and running this plugin. I get this really cool interactive window where I can visually create gradient. You can of course choose from all these amazing gradients that the creator has created. You can of course add more points and then work around it. And for each one of these, you can set a different gradient. The variety of gradient steps, the radius for the gradient, position as well. So you can position it across the canvas like this. Set the amplitude, the frequency, the noise also. So you can add more noise to a gradient. And then of course start blurring it out like this. Of course, you can do the same settings for the entire canvas like this, almost create this frosted glass look. Add or remove details like this. See how this works, man. This is just amazing. And then at the end, I go ahead and place it as an best gradient plugins out there ever. This one is also very impressive, Progress Blur. This creates progressive blurs for images, gradients, colors, anything. This can be used across different use cases, just like you see right here. All it takes is just creating an artboard, creating any element like this. So I have maybe a line here and I create a rectangle over this like so. Now I want to create a progressive blur with this. Make sure any element that is given progressive blur is a frame. Then I'm going to go further and apply this. Already there is a stagnant blur here. I can then increase or decre decrease the progressive blur like this. Look at how crazy the effects are getting. It's almost a washout color. You can of course change the colors from here. You can add more opacity like so. All right, so this next one is absolutely mind boggling. It's called Beam. So all your major tasks that you need to do automated for you. There are various tasks which I can take. For example, I have a rectangle uh, subscribe button, whatever. I can click on this, move the corner. So now if I need to give it a 20 radius or a 40 radius, it already comes with smooth corners as you can see, 60%. If I want to create app store screens, for my app store designs, ready to go. If I want to add an iPhone frame, a ready-made iPhone frame, it will add it just like this. It's perfectly designed. Now this app is still under development. If enough people, of course, download this, I'm gonna add so many menus and so many things. Now bento grids can be tricky to make. You have to manually set grids up and set things up. This plugin is going to make beautiful bento grids for you for free. By the way, if you've come this far in the video, click the like button, and leave a comment that tells YouTube that Everyone likes this video. And of course, I give it the number of sections I want. Maybe I want just four sections. Big section to center and then and I'm going to say create bento. As you can see, it creates a bento grid for us. Now, if I want something that is 22 grid layouts, yes, it can do that. Even though it looks disgusting, but it's there. I wonder if we can do 100. I'm sure that... Oh my God, look at this. They can do 100 as well. But of course, the whole concept of this is to create beautiful bento grids for your UI designs or for your posters, etc. Okay, so this is something called Banani AI. God knows where they got the name from, but it's a generative app wireframe kit just powered by artificial intelligence. Now, most of these are just very basic bogus AI tools. But if it works for us, why not use it? It starts with a basic tutorial itself. It gives you some examples of what you can type. Define the screen you want, home screen. Mention references you like similar to Airbnb with popular carousel and recommended list. Let's try creating a music player like 
Spotify. This is something that I want to create. I'm going to click on this. Once you've signed up, it starts generating, as you can see, with a nice little generate animation. And then, of course, it asks you some questions to make the designs better. Could you please clarify if you would like the shuffle button to be included in the player control section or somewhere else on the screen? Okay, this is getting interesting. Then, of course, press this arrow again. And then, of course, it says, okay, now I'm going to do it. So I say, okay, yes, do it. Within a few seconds, it starts designing life like how it starts designing life. And within a few seconds, it has generated a basic wireframe for us. Now, this is where I say that AI design tools do get a little confused in a lot of cases. As you can see, this does not look like Spotify at all. There are some elements which are correct. For example, the title area is correct. It creates a quick wireframe, so I'm not mad at it at all. Okay, so this next one is actually really cool. I'm gonna show a basic recording in the background and how it works. So basically you take an image or an illustration or an icon. Basically Ruri Lines creates these incredible looking line arts around this. So it converts it into line art. It is, you are able to edit each and every aspect of it. The thickness of the lines, the number of lines, the color of the line, and of course the distortion and things like that. Okay, this next one is actually genius. It's called Photos. I wish I had found this earlier. Photos allows you to access multiple different providers like Unsplash, Pic Pixels, Google Images, a lot of different providers in one plugin. One plugin to rule them all. So for example, I want some animal photos. I can search for Unsplash, I can search for Pixabay, I can search for Pexels, I can search Flickr for some reason. You can all obviously search for things like GIFs as well. So you also have Jiffy. Then you have illustrations. So if any platform has illustrations, they'll show it up here. And they have AI generators. So any platform you can find images from. You can even search for images. So if you have an image on screen, you want similar images, you can just use the inspect element here. What an amazing tool right here. All right, guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching till now. Hit the subscribe button if you want to watch such design videos every week. See you next time. Take care. God bless.